254 George F. Lokesbury. I have a letter, a copy of a letter that I am going to give counsel each a copy. I have a copy for the mayor, and I would think that Mr. McLaughlin could give it to him, please. Thank you. I will be reading this letter so we're all on the same page about the request of this letter. Everybody will know exactly what's going on. I'm asking you to give this to the mayor personally. This is for J.J. Murphy. Okay. That's his copy. I'll get this to the mayor, but J.J. doesn't work here. So no, I know, but you just on. see him frequently. I, you can mail that to J.J., but I'm not taking any position. Oh, he does no come longer, to the city He's no longer a city employee. I'm not taking I know any he's position. not, but he does come here. Well, you can mail it to him. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Thank you. I work for the city. Okay. Again, my name is Linda Urban, and I am on the uh, board of directors for the Wilkes-Barre Taxpayers Association. I'm going to read this letter, and if you have any questions after my reading this letter, uh, you're certainly welcome to respond. Uh, May 8, 2012, from Wilkes-Barre City Taxpayers Association at Elk. To Thomas Layton, Mayor of Wilkes-Barre, and J.J. Murphy, former City of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania Administrator. Dear Thomas Layton and J.J. Murphy, On or about February 2005, you being Thomas Layton, Mayor of the City of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, in cohort with your former City of Wilkes-Barre Administrator known as J.J. Murphy, accessed our city's general fund and ordered purchase and did install two home security systems with one being relocated and upgraded by J.J. Murphy for your private residences. We are sure that you fully conceptualize that your home, referring to the mayor's, and J.J. Murphy's two homes are not city property. We, the taxpayers of the city of Wilkes-Barre, and representing the taxpayers of our city as a bona fide association, demand full payment for the entire amount of the three financial transactions related to the non-authorized purchases made using city taxpayers' money withdrawn from the city's general fund. Nowhere in the city of Wilkes-Barre Charter does it state that any costs associated with such purchases for your private homes are our financial burden, therefore reimbursement is now demanded. It is our contention that no citizen, no citizen of our city unknowingly be forced to finance any purchases for non-city-owned private homes. And um, that being J.J. Murphy's and Mayor's for any reason. No citizen of Wilkes-Barre should have to pay for anybody's uh, property for their homes. The taxpayers of Wilkes-Barre do not reside in either of your homes. Therefore, we are not liable for the cost of the purchases, nor do we benefit from such said purchases. The total you, Thomas Layton, as the mayor of our city, arbitrarily removed from the Wilkes-Barre General Fund without counsel or the city taxpayers' knowledge and approval for the private home security systems is estimated at $14,789.05 plus tax and interest yeah, because the tax certificate was also used. Please note that all PA sales tax will be applied. Uh, we're asking for separate checks payable to the Department of Revenue for close to $900 in sales tax. And uh, we're feeling now, according to this letter, since J.J. Murphy is gainfully employed and the mayor does make a paycheck, they can certainly afford to pay the attached one particular invoice and the total of close to $15,000.
We're asking for full reimbursement within 30 days. We also encourage both the mayor and JJ to recheck their federal tax returns for the year in which they transacted these home security systems because it is considered a gift. It adds value to their real estate. It is, un it is also considered taxable income. Thank you, and uh, we will be looking forward to hearing from the mayor and the former city employee regarding uh, the $14,789.05 that is due to the Wilkes-Barre General Fund. Thank you very much. Thank you.